apologies for the difficulty in getting in touch with our commentator, uh, but we are working on it at the moment and expect it to be through uh, very shortly. Barcelona in blue and Juventus in the stripes. While we're still unable to contact our commentator in Turin, uh, George Hamilton, on kind of a technical difficulty along the way, but we're now joining Jimmy McGee, who is commentating for us in the studios. Juventus, Italy's most famous club, desperately trying to get back this goal they conceded in the new Camp two weeks ago. 
Barcelona here in this packed Turin Stadio Communal. If they share with Torino, will not be on for giving away any gifts. Two of the aristocrats of European football. Juventus who struggled for so long on the European stage, struggled in relative terms to try and win this big trophy, the European Champions Cup. And then when they did finally win it, won it in uh, last year in Brussels in such tragic circumstances. Platini. Way by Alessenko. Victor. Cabrini. Quick, quick free, quick break. Michael Laudrup playing up front. Danish international. Cabrini. Michael Laudrup there, the Juventus player. Juventus number nine, Pazzioni. And this is Cabrini, one of the most experienced of all Italian internationals, and of course a member of the Italian team that won the World Cup four years ago. Looking for the inspiration, as always, from Michel Platini, French national captain. Moro. Again, good strong defense being presented by the Barcelona side. Well drilled, of course, by Terry Venables. Number four here, Julio Alberto, will be a member of the Spanish team in the World Cup finals. This is Victor. Bonini with the challenge. Just that one goal in the tie, and that was scored in the first leg in Barcelona, and Barcelona scored it. Esteban. Platini to Bonini. The tackle was coming long before the ball was played. And it's Moratalo. Moratalo, who has his number been written down on the yellow card. Seven is Esteban. Eight for Juventus is Manfredonia. And ten just center of picture, Steve Archbold, former Spurs. Caldere. Carrasco. Nicely drilled through. Here's Archibald, shooting chance. Well seen by Tacconi. Bonini. Plays very deep on the right-hand side of Juventus midfield. Manfredonia getting in a boot, looking for Platini. And handball against Steve Archibald. Platini searching for either Laudrup or Moro forward. There's Laudrup 11. Gerardo. Five making the run is Victor. Chirea, lovely play. Cabrini. A run for Laudrup with Gerardo. Good play by the fullback.
Here come Juventus again with Bonini. Pacione unable to exercise control when it was most needed. And it's now in touch of Julio Alberto. Moro shielding it good. As Alessenko climbing highest, he was fouled, pushing back. Luti. Rio. Moro. Bonini. Tackle from Caldere. Favero. Barcelona looking very confident at the back. Julio Alberto threading it back, but that's a non necessary corner, really. Just overhead it. Nearly no pressure situation. And we wonder if Juventus will bring up their big centre back, Brio. Well, it's academic now. Here's Platini. Not too far away, maybe four or five feet wide. Typical of the man, you leave him a yard of space. And from wherever he is, he will try for target. He really maneuvers the ball very well. Michel Platini. So a quarter of an hour gone in Turin. Juventus nil, Football Club Barcelona nil tonight. But on the tie, it's Barcelona leading one to nil. Tackle on uh, Julio Alberto by Severo. Severo number two for Bonini. It's Taco Niewicz, the man who took over from Dino Zoff in the event is goal. Bonini clears it. Again, Maguelli getting it away for Barcelona. To Antonio Cabrini. One of the best left feet in the business, Cabrini. The event is not hanging about for a player from the right position. Shirea sets it up for Bonini. Avero. Manfredonia, possible shooting chance, and he couldn't make up his mind whether to cross it or shoot himself, and in the end, as very often happens, he didn't either. Caldere for Barcelona. Archie ball in the race with Scherrer. What a busy bee this man is, Bonini. Here he is again. You watch him in this game and he really seems to be just about everywhere running the show. Chance here for Lordrup. Lovely skills. And centre forward, Pazzioni, with a great chance of tying up this quarterfinal. Perhaps Michael Lauder was lucky to get a second chance at it. But the tenacity of the Danish international won the day. He kept his cool in the situation, looked for support, found it coming late from Pazzioni, and the centre forward made a hatch of it. Nil nil still. Caldere, another throw for Juventus. The most popular Italian club of all time. Particularly outside Italy. Well, strangely, it's not the most popular club in Turin. 
Here's Cabrini. Just over the top. Antonio Cabrini. And goalkeeper Ruti not looking too pleased with that. A chance to see it again. The angle was very wide. But didn't Cabrini do well to get it so near target? So with 19 minutes gone, in Turin, and the quarter-final second leg at nil-nil, I do believe we can join George Hamilton live in the stadium. Well, live in this incredible atmosphere in the Stadio Comodale in Turin, the 62,000 mostly Italian fans fervently believing, after that missed chance by Passioni, that perhaps they are being spurred on to something greater, but they've been on their feet all around, roaring their men on and knowing that just a goal a golden goal and they'd be right back in this and their corner this time to be taken by Mauro with five Juventus players in the box and Bonini lying handy near post the powerful header but nothing in the end for Shirea to celebrate Nobody picked up Shirea as he came storming through, but the header was misdirected. And it all begins again with a goal kick to Barcelona. minutes of the match gone. Juventus nil, Barcelona nil, and off goes Steve Archibald on another chase. Beaten this time by the tall figure of Brio. Archibald with uh, the best chance of the match so far, which forced a good save out of Sacconi, the Juventus goalkeeper. And Barcelona refusing to sit back and defend their one goal lead. And we should have quite a match on our hands. Chill of the evening coming on now after a grey day in Turin, but conditions for a game of football absolutely perfect. No wind to speak of whatsoever, and certainly the chill that may affect those who are watching won't affect those down on the pitch. It's not that severe. Put up against the Juventus man, and Barcelona have another free kick. The referee, Jan Kaiser, if you're following soccer in Dublin, you may remember him as the man who took charge of the match between the Ireland and Italy at Daly Mount Park in February 1985. Kaiser, one of the World Cup referees from Mexico. And Alex Anko, the Barcelona captain, doing what we hate to see Continentals do. And at this early stage of the game, a ploy that's uh, not really advisable. Archie Boulder just to have fouled his man. The man in question being Manfred Onia. Juventus with the free kick. Holders of the European Cup, of course, seven of the side that beat Liverpool on that tragic night in Brussels in May are on duty here tonight. Sardelli, Rossi and Bonjak have all left the club. Briaski is hurt. But a more significant to Juventus is the fact that Serena, scorer of five of their 11 goals in the European Cup, is missing, which means leading their attack is Passioni, Marco Passioni, and we've already seen him miss Juventus' best chance of the night so far, set up by this fellow, Lazar of the day. And back helping the defense, Esteban. Juventus try to turn the screw. Archibald doing well to keep it in. But it's Manfred only an hour. And that's looking for Bonini. Now with Mauro too much pace on that for Passioni. Strength in numbers there for Juventus. Now Platini, Laudrup. 
Pacioli in the middle, support from Mauro Pacioli! And Platini, unwilling to believe it, carved open by one four loads up on the cross from Mauro and Pacioli! It's a kind of nightmare that I'm sure... He must have worried about what he knew he was going to wear Aldo Serena's shirt in this game. Serena in the stands was in the dressing room beforehand to offer him encouragement. This young man on this, the biggest night of his life so far. And he's missed two glorious chances already for Juventus. Archibald and off goes Esteban. Mauro back in covering. Ball is out. Or was out. And we don't appear to have heard the referee's whistle. And the Barcelona man explaining himself, Julio Alberto. But he didn't hear the whistle, but the linesman flag was up a long time ago. Passione losing out to Miguel East. But uh, that's interesting. The free kick has been awarded to Barcelona for a handball against Passioni. Julio Alberto to take the free kick. Headed away by Brio. Laudrup, Passioni, and now Platini. Mauro and lots of movement up ahead for Juventus Mauro trying to find Laudrup comes to Platini Manfredonia and once more Shirea the sweeper and captain Mauro with Juventus losing out there and Julio Alberto on the ball for Barcelona Right to work at Esteban. And that was a chance for a quick build-up by Barcelona. They might have made more of it. 25 minutes gone. Nil-nil on the night. 1-0 to Barcelona on aggregate. It's worth pointing out that Barcelona's progress through the first two rounds of this competition guaranteed by away goals only. They haven't won a tie outright as yet. Juventus, for their part, have scored 11 goals in seeing off the Jeunesse Desch of Luxembourg and the Italian champion Verona. And a dreadful foul by Micheli. It's actually Victor, we can see it again, taking the feet from his man, just coming in from right of picture there. And Victor sending the Juventus man flying and giving Juventus the free kick in a very dangerous position. The three over the ball, Platini, Cabrini and Mauro. Platini, the dead ball expert, of course. What is to be looked for here? Platini, dark haired, wearing 10. European footballer of the year. The French magician, can he conjure a goal here? It's not one of his dead ball specials. It's nothing special at all. And Juventus having to make do with this throw. Manfredonia. Chant of Juve going up around the stadium. Whistle gone for another free kick to Juventus. Juventus bench, anxious eyes cast on the proceedings, Mauro to take the free kick, and Barcelona standing firm, Ruti thought about coming, changed his mind, Juventus winning another free kick, Manfredonia, 30-year-old midfield player.
Fabrini. And again, five men strung across the edge of the penalty area. Passioni rising and falling. And the anxiety of the Juventus fans, almost palpable, willing their team to score what would be the equalising goal in aggregate. And Barcelona playing it well enough so far. Victor heading it on. And a foul then by Victor. And Juventus quickly on with it. Loud rook for Dane. Wants it all on his own. And then the cross that Pacioli goes on. And he drops it. And once more Barcelona. Carved open by Michael Loudrup. And once more the centre forward found wanting. Ruti all over the plate. And you really begin to wonder if this is not going to be a night for Juventus. Two guilt edge chances and that was almost as valuable. And still, they could make nothing of it. And bear in mind too that Steve Archibald came close enough to scoring at the other end for Barcelona. A goal that would have left Juventus requiring three to win on the night had it gone in. And Archibald again going in. And it's there. And Barcelona have taken the lead. And Steve Archibald, the stop, has made Juventus up to score three. The movement up the left from Victor and Archibald made it out of nothing. He chased and he went and he got there and squeezed it somehow between Tacconi and the near post. Bad goalkeeping, it must be said. But what a fine piece of opportunism by Steve Archibald. And it's 2-0 in aggregate to Barcelona. And from behind the goal, you'll see just how small was the space he got it through. But the man in our field, Zeno's off position in the Juventus goal, showing that he's a long way off Zoff's brilliance. He should really have kept that out. But what a fine goal from Archibald's point of view. And quite a remarkable state of affairs here, greeted with some silence in this packed stadium. And so, having had three fine chances to one uh, in favour of Juventus, Barcelona have now struck back with the goal. And Archibald, who scored the goal away to Porto, that was the away goal qualifier in the last round, has scored a goal that could be equally valuable and even more lucrative because that could well send Barcelona on their way to the semi-finals. Put in a nutshell, Juventus now need three to win it. And what else it means here with Barcelona having got the away goal is there is no possibility now of extra time. Esteban, Julio Alberto. And suddenly Juventus are ragged. Tony, the Juventus manager, 10 years in charge. Now clearly fearful that his team's hold on the European Cup has gone. Manfredonia, Platini, and still Platini. And the goalkeeper at the other end looking equally dodgy. Could Barcelona have the goal kick? Interesting too, in terms of uh, the fans watching this match, Juventus had to play their first two home ties in the European Cup this year behind closed doors as punishment for what went on on that awful night in Brussels in the European Cup final. So this is the first opportunity that the fans here have of seeing the European champions in action at home. And they unfurled an enormous banner before the game saying, thank you Juventus for the European Cup. Will they not be thanking them for the performance they're seeing tonight? And the villain of the piece so far 
well two villains the centre forward Passioni who's missed the chances and the goalkeeper Tacconi who let a soft one in up the ball again Platini it's Victor for Barcelona and Caldere and Archibald you show too much of that to Manfredonia, but look how he's fought it back. And the referee are judging that to have been a foul challenge. But it has to be said, this is a very different Steve Archibald to the one we used to watch for Tottenham. He really does put himself a lot a lot. About a lot. Bonini. Platini losing us. Once more Archibald in chase. This time, not keeping it in. It's Cabrini. Victor. And that's Juventus's ball. The Juventus players, on a bonus of £20,000 a man, should they qualify for the semi-final. Sizable incentive, but incentive enough, I wonder, for them to score three times. The unfortunate Alexander slipping. Platini, down went Bonini, and the referee has awarded the free kick to Juventus. And this is where we do need some Platini magic. And there he is, really organizing. Jan Kaiser will want them all the way back. Oruti to build the wall. But are we going to see Platini deliver the goods? 1-0 to Barcelona on the night. 2-0 to them on aggregate. And Steve Archibald, the difference between the sides in this game. And now we have Platini to try and redress the balance. Not very far away at all. But credit for its due. They had the goal well covered. The wall was in the right place. A rookie man, you were scampering, and you would think he might have got there. And having put his wall up to guard right-hand side, he should really have taken up station near his left-hand post. But the accuracy for once lacking for Michel Platini, Barcelona with another goal kick. Lovely layoff from Platini. Manfredonia for Passione. Julio Alberto, the Barcelona man back. Mauro. Free kick has been awarded. And we can expect all that pressure now from Juventus. Mauro's free kick. In goes Passione, down goes Passione. And then another tumbling session, which ends with a free kick to Juventus. Cabrini fouled by the two Barcelona men. And the chance of Juve Juve goes up again. Barcelona have brought everybody back except Steve Archibald, who's furthest man forward in the centre circle in his own half. Juventus wants the Barcelona men back, and that they shall have. Deeper free kick, and not a terribly well executed free kick, but now Bonini, Azioni. Barcelona had really given him no room in which to operate. The whistle had gone, Juventus had men offside. With about uh, seven minutes from half time, and the sensation has taken place in the Stadio Comunale in Turin. Steve Archibald scored a goal. Reminiscent, it must be said, of the one with which uh, Trevor Francis won the European Cup for Nottingham Forest in 1979. It's Trevor Francis' first European Cup side. Well, this is a long way from being 
Steve Archibald's first European Cup tie, and he seldom scored a more vital goal than that one. Manfred Onia for Juventus, bundled up the ball by Morataya. Cabrini to Bonini. Platini. Mauro, supported outside by Shirea. That's for Laudrup. And the chance for Rookie Singer with the leg. And really, the Spanish goal is leading a charmed life. Cabrini. And the tackle from Gerardo, denying Juventus on that occasion. But that was a great save, really. It gave them nothing to shoot at at all. And Juventus on with it once more. Ruti in trouble. Mauro. The whistle had gone. The foul on the goalkeeper. And Barcelona have a free kick. And all of that matters not a whit. Miguel he can give the ball back. And Barcelona can resume with a free kick for the foul on Ruti, the goalkeeper. Guys. And now it's Platini for Mauro, and back had come Caldere, but it's loud up for Juventus. Morataya couldn't keep it in play, it didn't matter because it was a Barcelona ball. Five minutes to half time. Barcelona 1-0 up on the night, 2-0 on aggregate. And Barcelona resume with Gerardo's throw. Another throw to Barcelona. Victor and Gerardo once more and Platini clipping his ankles but as you'll have noticed when the men go down in this part of the world they tend to stay long time and then miraculously recover to resume and so it is with Gerardo who is now all right we haven't got a trainer on yet and that tells its own story and Esteban wants to take this free kick Came off Cabrini. Esteban again. And the overlapping fullback Gerardo was offside. Manfredonia to Cabrini. Shirea. Well, patience is best, and they can play themselves out of trouble properly instead of being hasty about things. They stand a better chance of succeeding. It was Mauro to Platini, and now Passione, and Platini again, and Laudrup. And Laudrup is down, and there was no push there for the referee. I think he's quite right. Having a good game, Jan Kaiser, the Dutchman. The Juventus have won another free kick. Shirea the captain. Migueli away. Platini back in there. Bonini. And up has gone Brio, the big centre half. And a good ball played there for Bonini, who made a total hash of it. Favero setting up Bonini for what should have been a cross, but nothing came of it. They're trying to get Julio Alberto away. Shirea back to tidy up. 
minute and a half to the break. 1-0 on the night to Barcelona. 2-0 to Barcelona on aggregate. And one of the great occasions in Europe, two of Europe's top teams, two of the real greats. But many would have preferred to see if the actual European Cup final. Well, here it is being played out over two legs, and in goes Platini, and it's one -up. Again, the instigator watched Platini go brilliant through ball. Barcelona caught square. And when he gets in that close, he doesn't tend to this. Drawing the keeper. And then superbly executed the equaliser with a minute to half time. And Michel Platini has saved the Italian bacon. For the moment, at any rate because they still have to score two more to stay in this European Cup. Half of it is the half side and Lozup goes off again. Shirea. Platini. Shirea once more. Rio. And now Macedonia. Mistake was by Mauro. Favero was giving nothing away. And Mauro there to help out as well. We're in the stoppage time at the end of the first half. As Mauro goes forward once more. Shurea is offside. Jan Kaiser checks the watch. There can't be time for much more. Half a minute of added time already played. There goes the half-time whistle, and it's 1-1 on the night, and mighty relief for the final on May the 7th. Will one of these teams be there? In the next 45 minutes, we'll go some way to offering an answer. Juventus then left to right in this second half, and Mauro early on the ball. Bad back pass has given Juventus a chance to work something here. Platini tries to get it to Passione. And not to Manfredonia to Mauro. And Juventus beginning as they have to. Looking now for Bonini. Desperate defense from Barcelona. Manfredonia, Lauda goes in. Just too much pace on the ball. Reflecting two at half time. And what a fine first half Michael Lauda had had for Juventus. Creating three chances, all firm for Passione, and then creating the one that mattered for Michel Platini. This tie will be decided in the next 44 minutes, because Barcelona's away goal ensures there will be no extra time. 1-1 one, one on the night, 2-1 to Barcelona on aggregate. Barcelona with the free kick to be taken by Victor. And that looks for Carrasco. But broke to the other number seven, Mauro. Too many Spaniards around Mauro. Passione, Manfredonia, Platini, Mauro gone to the other side, offside. Crept in behind the Spanish defense. And Gerardo will take the free kick. Plenty of noise, verbal support for Juventus. But this really is an uphill struggle for them. Cabrini, the fullback. 
Loudrup. Shirea. Loudrup had carried on there and could have been homing in on goal. Caveros back pass. Passione beaten by Gerard Gerardo. Latini. Mauro. Extricated himself well from that. Now Bonini. Platini. Caught the full weight of the challenge there. Platini hurt. And asking for a free kick that wasn't awarded. And now Archibald is onside. Esteban didn't read his intentions. A little figure of Caldere. And now Julio Alberto. And advantage play. And still there. We just wanted too much out of it. No one had come to support him anyway. Barcelona has the throw. Caldere. Didn't play in the first leg. Playing on the left side of midfield for Barcelona. Barcelona missing close. One of their top scorers, he's injured. And also Bernd Schuster, who had his disagreements with Terry Venables and now would appear to want to return to Germany to make himself available for the World Cup. And Franz Beckenbauer's plan. The more crucial missing person, Aldo Serena, Juventus' top European scorer, and the man who's replaced him, Passione, has missed three golden opportunities. That's Passione on the ball now. The young lad of 20. Now Cabrini. Platini. And Laudrup. And Mauro comes in. But for the good defending was by Alex Anko. Loudrup dropped the way around the Barcelona defence once again. And now Mauro again, beaten this time by Gerardo. Barcelona getting Amarilla ready. He's a striker. And they want to take off Steve Archibald. Five minutes into the second half and Archibald leaving the tray. And they're sending on instead Amaria. And in fact they're not sending on Amaria, they've changed the numbers around. To confirm the identity of the substitute for you in a moment. The Juventus commits the foul on the goalkeeper. So the free kick is to Barcelona. Five minutes of the second half gone when Barcelona made that substitution. No foul on the goalkeeper. In fact, the throw in given. The header came in from Passioni, but there was no real power in it. Headed away by Migueli. Now it's Caldere. Esteban. And the Rio is there. And so too, Victor. Danger not averted yet. And the shot was Esteban. Alberto Caldere and great support offered by Gerardo the ball was all that it might have been but the fullback did well 
by Brio. Victor. Firm challenge by Alexanko. And a free kick to Juventus. And that was a very important challenge. Laudrup causing all sorts of problems for the Barcelona defence and Migueli having to get that challenge in to avert the danger. But Laudrup has won the corner. Platini, not very far away at all, and it's uh, been deflected for another corner. It's to Ruti discuss. Well, only one of those two can join the action. Manolo and Marcos. Barcelona with one substitution already made. He's lying handy for just such an opportunity and he caught it full square but there were too many Barcelona bodies in the box Bonini Passione now Manfredonia now Barcelona's defence has been very well organised It's uh, having his day. Tempers becoming a little edgy. That, of course, understandable. Juventus, what the tempers, they will become frayed if this match is in its present state. It's 1 1 on the night, 2 1 to Barcelona on aggregate. And the longer, of course, it goes, the more likely are Barcelona to shut up shop in their efforts to deny Juventus any further interest in the competition. Caldere. Manfredoni are more concerned about the tackle than about the pass. And now Amaria. Caldere. Maria once more. Firmly headed away by Brio. And now Lazo. Looking for Platini. Mauro. Bonini. And Laudrup. Four ball on that occasion. Caldere. Losing out, Juventus sharpened the tackle now, really determined. Cabrini, Pazioni, Laudrup. No way through there, but the heels were clipped. The free kick is awarded. 11 minutes of the second half gone. Juventus won, Barcelona won, which means it's 2-1 to Barcelona on aggregate. And they have the away goal, and that means Juventus to win this must... Score twice. Mauro wants to take the free kick and wants the Spaniard further back. Pacioni goes up and gets the contact. And Barcelona gets the goal kick. This is becoming ever more difficult task for Juventus. 62,000 Italians in the stadium willing them to success. Their first sight of their heroes in this season's European Cup. And their heroes 
Are two goals to the bat. by Alex Ankov. And that'll go back. Still plenty of vocal support for Juventus. Bonini tomorrow. Intercepting through the event. Mauro to Platini. And the support came from Caprini. Overlapping fullback. Tackled by Victor. Still keeping the ball and then falling over. has been awarded and Juventus now just over half an hour away from a final whistle and in need of two goals will be desperate to make something out of this situation Cabrini the fullback then off Miguel's head corner kick goodness gracious I wasn't the only one who thought it was a corner. But the referee down there must have seen a deflection off the challenging Juventus forward. Interesting, of course, you consider what has happened to Manchester United's championship challenge in England with injury problems. Juventus losing the key goal scorer. And now similar problems. This goes to show how injuries can uh, lay waste to the best laid plan. And in fairness, it has to Passione that having missed those three chances in the first half, it would take enormous reserves of character to have a decisive role to play in a game after suffering such reverses early on. And he's only 20 and he's relatively inexperienced and he's looked at this as the greatest night of his life. And I'm sure there are moments in it when he feels he'd much rather the Stadio Cominale opened up and swallowed him up. Handball by Caldere. And that's the booking, and rightly so. Caldere becoming the third player to be booked in this match. Manfredoni early on for Juventus and then Morataya. For Barcelona. Off the ball, there was a, an incident. A Spaniard is down, and Carrasco. Meanwhile, we have a substitute on for Juventus. With 61 minutes on the clock, and that man is Pini, who has gone on to replace Bonini, straight swap midfielder for a midfielder, and it's quite possible. That Bonini may have uh, taken a knock. On go Juventus then. Manfredonia to Shirea. Cabrini. And Alexanko gets it away. So one change on each side. Shirea, the Juventus captain. Martini is noticeable as pushed further forward now. It's Laudrup who's coming in search of the ball in midfield. Caldere fouled by Manfredonia. And the tension among those around us were commentating from the back row of the grandstand and the crowd is just a row ahead of us, the rearmost part of it. And the tension that they are feeling is almost seeping through to this supposedly neutral corner 
at the back but they are willing their team on and leaping to their feet with the merest hint of something that might be beneficial to their side this match a match that has caught the imagination of Europe there are 12 television stations covering it and 14 radio stations being broadcast live all over Europe the clash of the titans and Barcelona the stronger at the moment 1-1 on the night 2-1 to them on aggregate and Mauro wasting the opportunity then winning the throw Michael Laudrup Martini not so well but look how sharp Barcelona were always seem to be the red and blue shirt but look how Platini forage determination from Juventus Favero Passione trying to get the early ball through to Jurea but now Barcelona have a break off Esteban and he checked and waited till the support arrived and the surprise element has gone out of that attack right out of it now no longer even qualifies as an attack but when you're 2-1 up on aggregate and you've an away goal in the bank you tend to indulge in such tactics Back Pavero. Sherea. Pinne. Sherea. Passione. The big fella's having a rough ride tonight. That though ends in a free kick to him. And a poor ball in from the wing. Offside against Mop. Rio it was. Centre half now playing right upfield. Who made the final pass. Well this shaping up as yet another astonishing chapter in the rise and rise of Terry Venables the manager of Barcelona 18 months ago he took them over after many famous men before him had failed seeking their holy grail of a Spanish championship Venables arrived and in his first season they had won the trophy for the first time in 11 years and now he has been in the European Cup and has plotted an outstanding campaign against Juventus 1-0 home victory and now 1-1 here meaning it's 2-1 on aggregate to Barcelona and they've looked exceedingly resilient and Juventus lacking their top scorer who's out injured for that muscular problem in his left side to Reina are really in serious, serious difficulties Approaching the midway point of the second half, there's just a quarter of the game to go, and Juventus needs two to win. Pinez cross, Passione up, Ruti making it his, and then the challenge of the goalkeeper is low foul, and what happened there? Free kick has been awarded to Barcelona. No, it could have gone either way. Cabrini had gone in hard. There was no foul on the goalkeeper, but then the referee awarded the free kick against the Juventus player. Favero, the fullback, squeezing it through. Pine sending in the cross from the right wing. And then up went Yoruti, couldn't hold it. Passioni put him under pressure, and it was here that the free kick was awarded against Favero or Cabrini. And Cabrini, the last man down, holding on on the ball, it would appear. And the referee deciding that warranted the free kick to Barcelona. Platini. 
And again, Laudrup once more, hooked away by Migueli. Carrasco. Free kick to Juventus, ball has to go back. Laudrup. Cleared there by Morataya. Calderé. Rio back to cover. And Pine. And Calderé again. Why the top there? You've had a score. They really are willing their team on to win these fans. But the tall order becoming ever more enormous Migueli to Caldere support from Amaria outside and the shot was always curling away 21 minutes to go Juventus won through Platini Barcelona won through Archibald who's been replaced the aggregate stands of 2-1 to Barcelona. Passione, Mauro. And Barcelona really are playing with enormous composure. That's Platini to Cabrini and now Laldrup. Barcelona's defensive covering and marking has been exemplary. Laldrup though to run after. And digging out the cross, but you almost sense the Juventus had given up the ghost there because Laudrup got in the cross but there was nobody far enough forward to challenge Urruti. Laudrup showing a clean pair of heels to the defender and getting in the cross. But Juventus just not able to make anything of it. That's Mauro with the cross. And now Carrasco. Support is arriving. Victor. Marataya. Barcelona quite prepared to hold on to the ball. Ricardo. Carrasco. And one back almost by Cabrini. Laudrup. Happy to go back. Platini did well to dig it out of there. Laudrup. And Shirea. And they opted not to use Cabrini on the left. Mauro. Passione. And now Cabrini in the action. Passione. Bundled off the ball by Victor and another free kick to Juventus but worth reflecting that in the opening quarter of the game Juventus were creating chance after chance and Passione could have had a hat trick well how many chances have they created in the second half precious few and that speaks volumes for the way that Barcelona have organized their resistance because Juventus in search of the two goals they need to win it have been throwing everything at them. Platini's free kick. Ruti punching. Amaria. Julio Alberto, scorer of the goal in the first leg. Amaria. Julio Alberto, down he goes, and the referee not in the slightest interested, and the Barcelona men are off the bench, and feel they should have had a penalty there, as Severo challenged Julio Alberto. But it's a goal kick to Juventus. And now Brio. Now. How sound is the Italian temperament here? Or will it take the Frenchman of the Dane to pull them around? Or is their cause retrievable? Certainly, it's the team 
from Barcelona and that is looking the more composed as indeed they have every right to do Gerardo and now Amaria the substitute how to play it goes of Cabrini Terry Venables in the middle of that seeming very agitated but he has to know that two goals have to go past his own team before they are out and I would have thought now with just over a quarter of an hour to go 16 and a half minutes that he might have permitted himself a little ease from the tension he must have felt through most of this game Platini Azione, Platini going for the return broken to Mauro Azione going up to challenge Oruti but Oruti fouled in the process and another name is going to go in the book and it will be that of the goalkeeper for exacting his own retribution Oruti becomes the fifth player in the match to be booked across searching for Passione, it went too far and was knocked back towards the big centre forward who got in there but having fouled the keeper then Oruti took the law into his own hand so he was booked for the challenge that he made after the game was dead and those Juventus fans all around us are now becoming very agitated indeed and roaring their disapproval in the general direction of Giovanni Trapattoni and the Juventus bench firm challenge by Cabrini and now the ball with Lazo quarter of an hour to go then 1-1 one, one on the night 2-1 to Barcelona on aggregate Laudrup trying to find Platini lay back to Mauro and unfortunately for him he had to pick the precise spot at which the goalkeeper Oruti was standing layoff from Platini firm half volley by Mauro but Oruti first and now Carrasco and the cover coming from Shirea but Barcelona have a throw Time very definitely on their side. The Spanish champions taking on the European champions who qualified for this competition only by virtue of winning the European Cup because Verona won the Italian League last year. Well, Juventus knocked Verona out in the last round of this competition to earn the right to play Barcelona. But it's the Spaniards who are taking Juventus apart. dismantling their challenge with resolute defence Juventus who've had a very very tough programme indeed and were hammered 3-0 on Sunday in Rome by Roma and have Inter Milan to play this coming Sunday are making their sub second substitution for Nessie going to go on and off has come Mauro so 14 minutes for Bonetti to try and make some kind of impact. Mauro withdrawn. Juventus had to make some kind of change because they've struggled since half time, over half an hour now, to try and break down the resilient Barcelona defence. But it, it is just refusing to submit. Is there to be no European glory in his final season, Juventus for Platini? minutes to go Juventus 1 Barcelona 1 and the aggregate stands 2-1 in favour of Barcelona Morataya but uh, the whistle had gone free kick to Barcelona Calderé 
Maria. There was almost a gap for him. Sharia, Manfredonia, and then Caldere, who's been very effective on the left side of midfield for Barcelona. Amaria, Juventus has men back in numbers. And a poor pass, Julio Alberto. And eventually, Esteban, unable to keep the ball in play, but winning for Barcelona the corner. vital seconds taken as Caldere was called up to take the corner and the shot was from Morataya and now Juventus wants a quick break but it's two against three and now two against four they just didn't have the men up Barcelona had left enough back and they'll have to try and prize open the defence Bonetti that was the second substitute but then the Juventus attack totally disorganised and breaking down and it's up to Amaria, beaten by Manfredonia. But Manfredonia putting the ball out of play, and things just not going Juventus's way at all. Barcelona with a free kick, and they're in no hurry to get on with things at all because they are well aware that time is not on the side of Juventus but it is very definitely on their side Julio Alberto the left back once again and all the way back it goes to Oruti frustration now the most tangible emotion among those around us that the Italians expected more from this especially when they got the fill up of the goal just before half time from Platini they must have felt they were on their way then oh here comes Bonetti and they won a corner and Juventus really want men up because Barcelona have packed the area Bonetti the sub with the corner Sharia but too many there. That came off Cabrini. Juventus having to battle for every single scrap. A marvellous rear guard action by Barcelona. But given its significance only because they lead the tie by two goals to one. So don't be critical of Barcelona for being defensive because they've taken the initiative when they had to. They've got the lead. And now they're prepared to defend it. And Juventus need their two goals, and they've now got just eight and a half minutes plus added time in which to get them. Favero. Caldere content to let it roll out of play. Alan Harris there, Teddy Venable's assistant, telling Barcelona to keep pushing forward. The second substitution to be made, Manolo is coming on for Barcelona and off is going to Victor. So all the substitutes have been used that are permitted to a side. And Victor in no hurry to leave the fray. And a few more seconds are ticking away. Victor goes off the midfield player to be replaced by Manolo, who is a defender. And the message in that substitution is very, very clear indeed. Migueli, Platini goes in. But there was pushing on Migueli. And it's a free kick to Barcelona. over six seven minutes to go seven minutes to go one one on the night two one to Barcelona on aggregate and the Stadio Comunale 
in Turin. See now to play host to a week for the European fortunes of the European champions Juventus. And who's to say that Barcelona on their way to what would be a famous victory and also on their way to putting their name on the European Cup for the very first time. They've been in six European finals. They won the Cup Winners Cup twice in the old Fairs Cup as well. And they won the very original Fairs Cup as the city of Barcelona on two occasions. But they've never made it to the European Cup final. And how they would love to claim the European Cup seven weeks from tonight in Spain. The final was originally down to be decided in Barcelona. But it was then decided that if they were going to play in it, they would have to go elsewhere. So it's due now for decision in Seville. Seven weeks from this night on Wednesday, May the 7th. And Barcelona now five and a half minutes away from claiming their place in the last four. The other quarter-final is Bayern Munich, Anderlecht, Aberdeen of Scotland, IFK, Gothenburg of Sweden, Stewa Bucharest of Romania, and Kusizi Lati of Finland. Four names to go into the draw on Friday. Semi-final first leg, a fortnight tonight. Barcelona seem now almost certain to have their place in that semi-final. And on it goes for Amaria, who was offside. And Juventus, who began with such panache and fashion, three good chances for Passioni. And then went behind to Archibald's goal. Found a reply just before half time through Platini. But the promise from the end of the first half wasn't carried to second. Barcelona gave them no kind of opportunity. And now less than five minutes from the finish, the Juventus fans have been silent. And Barcelona 2-1 up on aggregate. And with a cushion of the away goal, should Juventus even score once more? Seem to have done what is required. The heart, it would appear, has gone from the Juventus challenge. And here go Barcelona again. And the break is on and played behind Carrasco when it seemed almost easier to finish it off with another goal Vigne ball out for the throw to Juventus Shirea Platini snapping on his heels is Manolo Unfairly so, Juventus with the free kick. Platini once more. That was for Laudrup, but Laudrup wasn't that far forward. Barcelona have a goal kick. to go Juventus 1 Barcelona 1 Platini trying to get it going again Manfredonia then Alexanko and Caldere Carrasco The more histrionics. And with the trainer should come on to Carrasco. It'll be the first time we've had the team attendant on. But the referee not convinced. And so Carrasco will have to uh, recover without assistance from the touchline. And it was a foul. So Barcelona have a free kick. 
And the game is just over two minutes to run. Pasco goes down again. This time it's a goal kick. No. The indication appears to be that uh, Juventus were to have the goal kick, but the referee had other ideas in mind. Now, is that a third one? No, this time it's definitely Juventus' ball. A minute and a half to go. And Juventus, the holders, are uh, about to go out of the European Cup. Passione losing out, boots away by Migueli. And now it's Bonetti. Cabrini. Manfredonia. Looking for Pine. Asked a lot of them, he did well. This is Laudrup. And he thought and he got the free kick. And that's interesting because the only way they might manage to score would be if Platini could work the Oracle. Inside the final minute of the game then, and two goals required for Juventus to progress. They would love one from this, but surely it wouldn't be enough at this late stage. There'll be time to be added because of the uh, time wasting on the part of the Spaniards. But surely not enough now for Juventus to score twice. Platini there, left the picture with the ball, so too is Cabrini. And we're ready to go on now. Platini and Orosi happy to punch it away, but it was almost a half-hearted curl around the wall, that one. A half-hearted gesture of defiance for the Frenchman who must surely know that his part and his team's part in this year's European Cup is over. A Gallic wave of the hand as he lost possession there and Platini is actually walking off the field. There he is, coming back when the ball came his way but he was well offside and not really hurt at all, it would appear. Interested only in uh, forgetting about what has been a very disappointing night for him and his team. Time up then, into added time, and Barcelona are through to the semi-finals. There can be no doubt about that now. Three guilt-edged chances went to begging through the reserve centre forward, Passione, and then Archibald struck with the help of Ciccone for Barcelona. That was on the half hour, just before the break. Platini was put through by Laudrup. The first half star for Juventus. And Juve had the equaliser. But they still needed two to beat Barcelona. And they haven't even looked like scoring them in this second half. Because Barcelona's resistance has been superbly organised. Jan Kaiser, the Dutch referee, 